right here. It gets so insane. I want you guys to really look at this. Look at the sky. This is this is visually impressive. Hey guys, Lucas here from Musashi Boys, and we are talking about the Elden Ring gameplay trailer. I'm so excited. Uh, I've been waiting for this for so long. And I recently did a video talking about all the things that people wanted from this game and analyzing the wishes of the fans, basically. And I'll put that in the description below. But, you know, let's get right into this. I'm so excited and I have a lot to say. And before we get started, leave a like, subscribe, and I appreciate you guys watching this and hearing about my, my thoughts on the trailer. This is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. Occasionally, grace will manifest rays As you can see water. right here, this going through here. This is basically it telling you where to go next, which I really appreciate because that was, you know, if you're someone who necessarily like doesn't like open world games, I love them. But some people, you know, they just want that that tailored experience, kind of like Dark Souls. You could probably just follow the graces to the next points and not really explore as much. It's going to be harder on you, but you know, it. I like that they give you that option of telling you where you need to be going next, kind of. Light. Double jump. Ooh. <laughs> I love you can see the dragon coming off in the distance. That's so cool. Now this is what I was talking about before. Horse combat, and they already did something I wasn't thinking about. Magic. Magic on the horse. Look at this. That's big. Being able to do magic on the horse. I feel like that's gonna be way better than Attacking melee. Holy moly. This thing looks absolutely insane. You got the kill animations, everything you want. So right here, look at this. Look how amazing this looks, right? Here's the thing. Before this point, I was a little unimpressed with the with the graphics. But here's the thing. There's a lot of people mad. This is the next gen. This isn't one of blah, 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 blah. First thing, this game's still coming out on previous gen consoles. So it needs to be able to run on those consoles at a decent frame rate, okay? And then second, has FromSoft, has the developers of Dark Souls, of all these games, ever been known for their pedigree with graphics no we shouldn't be expecting them to make demon souls remake right the, the, something graphically like that or god of war they're not known for that they're known for their artistry for their level design for a lot of ways to create atmosphere but they've never been known for graphics so for people to come in and and be kind of new to these games and be like why doesn't this game look like red dead redemption it's not made by those people, right? These They don't have expertise in making everything graphically look amazing, right? Maybe maybe in the next game, when it's only on next-gen consoles, they'll, they'll know how to do it. But for now, I don't know why people were expecting the most graphical fidelity game ever created. Absolutely amazing. The, the, the artistry here, oh my god. This shot, they, they knew what to do. And the armor, look at the armor. I love the detail. All this hanging stuff. So cool. And now we get to see the map. I'm mixed on the map because I love how it looks, right? It's a really cool looking map. It'd be cool to have it like in your hands. But at the same time, this this is not going <laughs> to... When you're trying to find something specific, unless... I don't know how the world's designed, but it's going to be... This is, map's not going to help that much, I guess. Also, if you have to set the markers for everything, I don't know if that's going to be annoying or if it's going to make, make it immersive. I feel like I'm going to forget, and then I'm going to lose out where bosses are, and then I'm going to be frustrated. It keeps it from, from being cluttered, I guess. A little sleeping arrow. And right here, <laughs> the sound and everything, I immediately knew that this is Dark Souls 4. This is Dark Souls. Everyone's been saying it, but, you know, this is everything. If you like Dark Souls, this is everything you want from a Dark Souls 4. Enemy stocks can be broken with heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. Ooh, look at these weapon arts, or whatever they're going to be, weapon skills. A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged between weapons.
Oh, that was sick. I love that. I love that they're really digging into these weapons having lots of skills. In more perilous situations, this is going to see be, the whole spirits and everything is going to be very interesting to see how this pans out because on one hand, it looks amazing. I'm so excited for it. But on the other hand, I'm just hoping it's not broken, which I don't think they would. If I feel like it's from soft always errors on the side of like useless than broken because if it's broken, then like it kind of destroys the whole game and you have to handicap yourself to enjoy the game. But I, I do, I am very interested. I hope it's balanced because if it's balanced, oh my God, it's going to be so cool. If it's balanced, if it's, if it's underwhelming or broken, you know, it's going to suck and they're going to have to, you know, adjust for the Elden Ring 2 or whatever. Spirits vary greatly in type, so we look forward to players experimenting and finding their personal favorites. Ooh, from Dark Souls 2, this sword. Very good. It just feels like they're adding all their favorite parts of all the Dark Souls games and then making them better. You know, and that's what we want. We want everything from the old games added in, then just better. Okay, so this. We were talking about this. I, this looked great. It looks like, oh my god, you just get, the, the person just comes in, you just invite them, and then we, we go off into the world. I really hope that it stays like this, and this is how it works, because, or how it seems to work, because we don't want weird little markings where we have to go to specific spots when you can only fight bosses and blah, 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 or only go in certain areas. Just let us play the game together if we want to have multiplayer. So, I'm really hoping it's just very open-ended, and... You know, you just you just invite them. Let's play. Ho oh, whoa, whoa. we've come across a boss guarding this area. We'll take I love this design. Reminds me of Dragon Slayer armor, which was one of my favorite boss designs within Dark Souls. I love the magic. I love that we're seeing more and more of it because I wanted to try magic out, be a magic main for once, or not main, but like be a side thing. Right here. It gets so insane. I want you guys to really look at this. Look at the sky. This is this is visually impressive. Holy moly. I can feel the excitement. How intense these fights are going to be. How frustrating these fights are going to be. If you go back. If we go back here. Let's stop. Let's pause it. Let's go back. Right. Right here, see, watch the the player who's playing with you, right? Keep an eye on him. Look at this. That is the same dragon that was just showing off earlier and fought earlier. So, it kind of shows me, like, maybe there will be, like, morphing into other, you know, enemies and then using their abilities. Because the boss also does that. He does the same thing. So, it's the same dragon for all three of these people. So, you know, it is awesome. Ooh, hit him with a comment. Man. There we go. That looks awesome. I love that. Some reused stuff, some new stuff. I love it all. I love it all. You need that mix. Here they're about to go into the dungeons. And here's the thing about the dungeons. The dungeons are cool. Cool ideas to them. They kind of remind me of Chalice Dungeons in, in um, Bloodborne, right? The issue is, are they going to be unique or not? Or the catacombs, they call them. Because this, I don't know, it doesn't, it, they didn't show anything off that's particularly impressive. So we see some traps. And then getting some gear at the end. And it's not particularly impressive, and I'm actually surprised that that's all they showed. They didn't show, like, anything impressive about it, because... It does remind me a lot of the Chalice Dungeons, and the weakest part of the Chalice Dungeons was that it could get a little repetitive. And so I'm hoping that they, that because this is open world, this isn't like procedurally generated dungeons or anything, that it will be, they will be all be unique. And I, and like almost like, like, you know, the main areas of the game, these like dungeons or whatever you want to call them, um, that they're like mini versions of that, right? And if they do that well, that's going to be awesome. So as you see that blue light in the side, my camera's kind of covering it up, but um, the I don't know what we're going to call her in this game, but the Firekeeper, I'll call her. 
um, who will help you level up. She will be, I'm assuming, popping up. I'm assuming she'll pop up whenever you go to one of these places and she'll just like, you know, do that same animation so that she can give you upgrades and stuff. Okay. I like the look. I like the look. I like the hair. She got some volume. I'll take the cord. Now look at this. This is another shot when they're like, okay. We got some graphics on our side. Come on. I can't wait. I can't wait for the lore to know, like, why does this dude have this book-looking thing with, like, holes that look like his hands could go through, and it's around his neck, like, I, I, I can't wait for the lore. I know people are saying you could dodge through this. <laughs> I heard a lot of people say you could dodge through that, and... Oh my god, that Estes animation is great. I know a lot of people say you can dodge through that, but I don't know. It was like back to back. It looked like if you dodge through the first two, the third one would hit you. Like they purposely made it so like, I don't know. People find a way. They always find a way in these games. We'll try entering through a back way. This is, is very much where some more of the gameplay gets very interesting. I love that. The sigil and this magic connected to the weapon itself. Man, it's powerful. Watch what he does with this. It's almost like a blood counter. He like cuts his hand with the sword. He's through the attack and hits him. And what I love most about that whole sequence that I don't see a lot of people talking about, he switched between three different weapons and showed I like so far throughout this, I know they're trying to show off as many weapons as possible, but so far I'm getting the feeling like they want you to use two or three weapons. Like they want you to use a sword and a staff and a glaive or and a hammer or oh, so what, whatever right they want you to to experiment with multiple weapons and i really hope that's like the essence of this game because you know so many people myself included you know they find the biggest sword they can they get all the strength they can they just run at the game and just go through pure skill right i want to i want to go away from that right and try all the weapons try all the abilities and see what works best you know have a little bit more variety in my play style i think i think that's what they're going for and i hope that's what they're going for feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each basically what he's saying is just that these dungeons ooh, are going to be very different in the open world they're going to be more like dark souls right have more of a actual progression to them i love how this scene is literally just a show off like look Look what we learned from Sekiro. Look, you can jump. <laughs> you can... <laughs> we have... <laughs> we have building traversal. These shots are so good. These shots are so good. And just just seeing where you can go with this is awesome. They can be tackled from a number of routes. And that's so exciting. The dungeon... What he just said. What he just said. The dungeons have multiple... Have a variety of ways to tackle them. And you can go through them. It's like... Depending on your play style, what you want to do, you're going to be able to do different things. And that is so exciting because it's like blending what they're trying to do with this game, which is the open world, right? That's the whole the whole thing of this game, the open world. But then going back to the dungeons of Dark Souls, you know, as a, as a whole game. But the dungeons that are more like Dark Souls and then making them somewhat open world so that it still has that theme continuing throughout it. The detail in this dude's armor. Look at this. Look at this. Do a little dance, dude. I want that earring. Already the lore. Already the lore. I'm like, I'm all for it. I'm ready for it. I want to watch binge the body video videos. Oh my god. Okay. Hold up. We gotta go back. Let's go back. I'm gonna slow it down for you. There's no one's talking about this. This big old eagle. This big old eagle. He comes flying in. Look, he's over here flying. What do we see? Look at this. It's hard to see right here. Look at this. His his feet. At first, I thought he was holding swords. Let's get him closer. His feet are swords. His feet. They chopped off this poor eagle's feet, 
and made them swords. And then he has some sort of, I, I'm assuming a controlling mechanism. It's like some mechanism on his wings. Yeah, it's some chains on his wings to control him and keep him down, maybe? The, this is this is very interesting. I love the enemy design. And, of course, this dude. He's also very interesting because, first thing, he looks like Slave Night Gale. Second thing, he looks like us, right? So, I'm wondering, what's that about, basically? Now, how about I bring it back to normal speed? Now, we get the most exciting part fight, of the trailer. So it's, look, it's the same dragon. It's the same dragon. And I'm making predictions already. This dude, right, he's caressing the dragon. He, For some reason, he's infatuated with the dragons by how he's talking about it. Right? And he is attaching things to his body. More hands, more fingers, more, more, more. I'm thinking, you know, later in the trailer, he has a dragon arm. My guess is that there's a second phase. This dude's like, give me the fucking head, dude. Boom! Puts that thing on. It has to be a second phase, I think get a cool animation or Ooh. those fingernails I don't know that how those hands help him in any way shape or form Look at the feet on his feet. Holy moly, his head small. Holy moly. I know, like, there's no way to make your head bigger, but holy moly, dude. Maybe add some heads on your head or something. Look at that. Do we need to watch it again? Do we need to watch it again? Look at this. We're already seeing combat systems right here, right? This counter, counter, whoo, keeps you in the combat. That's what we want. Holy moly, he can move. <laughs> I love it. His rolling. Oh. I, I feel so bad for the spirit. He's gonna get taken out, yeah. Look at the dodging here. Watch the dodging. Sidestepping. He gets hit in the end, but I love that sort of stuff. Here we see the dragon head. See what I'm talking about? Look, oh, oh, wait. Oh my god, we found it. So it 100% it is that dragon's head. He rips it off. Must be a second phase. Because if you look, boom. Head gone. Head gone. So cool. I love every single thing about this. This is all the feelings I want. I love... Oh, I hope this is an insta kill. <laughs> or like an 80 percenter. Oh, so amazing. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you for showing me this. So yeah, guys, this was the Elden Ring gameplay trailer. My breakdown analysis and just things I thought. I love that seeming like they want you to use multiple weapons. I'm loving the open world. I'm hoping that the little catacombs, that they are, there's more to them. There's more in depth and that they aren't like too basic, like Bloodborne. I felt, I just like Bloodborne was just not enough effort put in, but I don't know. The game's huge. So it's like, what can we expect from Bloodborne? That was a fantastic game. Um, but yeah, I, I really hope the dungeons are all great experiences and unique, the mines, whatever you, you want to call them. Um, I shouldn't call them dungeons because they aren't dungeons. These are dungeons, and these dungeons look amazing. They look fantastic. You can obviously tell they are the big, like, point, the waypoints, the big tells of how far you progress in the game. And it's going to see how, and be interesting to see which ones we have to progress through and stuff. Um, overall, just very, very pleased. Anyone mad about the graphics, get over it. Like, you shouldn't have been having that expectation from the get when we have previous gen consoles and they they've never made the craziest looking games ever so i want to thank everyone for watching i appreciate it leave a like subscribe and definitely comment down below what you guys think really want to hear it um yeah thank you guys for watching and see you guys later